So how do we make the bread bowl, Mickey? All right, and it's easier than I thought. I thought it would be difficult. It's pretty simple. I started with a packet of active dry yeast. And I poured that in there. And now I'm going to add, this is warmed a little bit hot water, one cup and an eighth of water to that. I'm going to mix that up and let this sit for five minutes. Gotcha. So it can do its stuff. All right, it's sat five minutes. And now I'm going to take a teaspoon of salt. All right. A teaspoon of sugar. All right, for the bread bowl. That's right and one tablespoon of olive oil. Gotcha. I'll mix that together. Seem pretty simple. I can dig it so far. And now all we have left is three cups of flour. You gotcha. know what? So, so many people think cooking is so hard. Um, so many people don't cook. Mm -hmm. But if you make it simple, and we're gonna try to make it simple for you, that's something I, I, I have noticed that people have been saying, you make it look so easy and I tried it. Not too long ago you made yeast rolls. I can believe the response we get on. Everybody remembers yeast rolls when they're yeah. a kid. Their grandmother made them, their great aunt made them, their aunt made them. All of a sudden, we took Lois's recipe, put it on, and you know what? I can't tell you how many people out there have said, hey, we tried these and they were wonderful. Loved it. If you follow the steps, follow directions, and that's what we're here for is to help you. And Miss Nikki, I can't wait. All right, now's where I get dirty. For this recipe. Those are, I have no Better you than me. All right. I'm, because you got two hands clean up. I got one. And I'm just going to kind of knead this together. It doesn't have to be very long, just till I get it into a ball. And then we're going to let it sit 90 minutes. Gotcha. And you know, something that I've been, and I know some people do, and I've kind of done this a couple times, I set my oven to 200. Gotcha. Turn it off, open it up a little bit, and then just set this, this bowl right in there. Seems like it's so it a little better. It's not cooking, but it's no. warm enough to make it work. And you leave your oven door open. Beautiful. Ta-da! That's after 90 minutes or it gets it a little longer. You know what? Um, the other day, we were experimenting. We were having fun. Yeah. I, I mean, we had this soup at what, 8 o'clock in the morning? We did. It was delish. And I just had it in my mind and I started thinking of, of all the different recipes we've done and I brought this in from here and this in from here. And that's what cooking is. Yes. Don't ever let anybody say, you can't do it that way. Oh, you cut those too thick. You cut those too thin. You can't put sugar in that. Yes, you can. We don't do this at Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Right. We will never tell you you can't put frog legs in your um, chicken stew. <laughs> I like that. All right. Normally you'd make three of these. Yes, but you want some big bowls for us because we're hungry. Because we're hungry. And this really does get nice and hard and it will not let that soup out the side. We got more still... to do though. It's on parchment paper. Gotcha. We're going to set this beside us. Let's watch it for 20 minutes. We're going to let it rise a little bit more and then we have to do something else to it before we cook it. You'll cover that up? Nope, we're just going to let it sit just like this. Set. Yep. Gotcha. Behind us. Now we're gonna start the soup. All right, and I have just a little bit of milk in here and an egg for like a wash from the top. A little bit of what in there? A little bit of milk. How do you spell milk? M-E-L-L-K. Um, -L -L and I'm just gonna, you know, always a little egg wash on the top. That's funny, north and south. It's milk, <laughs> milk here and it's milk. Say it again. Milk. You said milk that though. We are gonna score the top of these. A little, right. Put a little X on each one. X marks the spot. Yeah, to help them when they're cooking. And I'm going to put egg wash on each one. And what do you think about some sesame seeds? Sesame seeds. To seed make buns? them look like a big bun? Yeah. All right, there's our buns, our soup bowl. And they're going to raise up a little in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in. Perfect. 400. We're going to give those a half hour. All righty. So look at this. Nice and dense, firm, you use bread flour there, right? So easy, yes. So easy, nothing to it. Mm -hmm. Nice and firm, dense, so we can cut that out. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And it'll hold that liquid and it won't leak out. So Mrs. Farmer, look look how thick our soup is. Look at that. That looks good. Look at that, a burger in every bite. Can't wait for that. You ready for some bowls? We're almost, we're almost here. I'm excited. You want to let them set a minute? You're supposed to, but you know what? I'm hungry. Let's. I say I can burn my fingers to cut them. What do you think? Let's do it. <laughs> Mrs. Farmer, the moment has arrived. I'm excited. Are you hungry? Yes, I've been eating the bread, so is Kelly, that we pulled out of the, the little bowl here. All right, Mrs. Farmer, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and dump our soup into our bread bowl. A big Yum. heap and, heap and scoop. That's oh. a big bowl of soup. Oh, no, all that is. bread? That's, that's quite a bit that's of soup that you can fit in there. 